Hi guys, welcome to Tech Interceptor. Among all motherboard that we have already seen, not had the pleasure to know no of the new B650. So today we talk about this. This is the MSI MPG B650i Edge Wi-Fi. First of all, remember to subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell to stay up to date on upcoming videos, and if you want, take a look at our Twitter and Instagram profiles. And let's start! The motherboard of which we talk to you today belongs to the MSI Performance Gaming Series. To gather the mobile into the box, we find the always good old user manual. Two SATA free 6GB to second cable, one J ARGB extension cable, one Wi-Fi antenna set, one cable sticker and a free screw for M2 socket. The new MSI Creature is not all big, on the contrary, it's very little. In fact, it has an a mini ATX form factor and its size 17 cm for 17 cm. Its compact layout is based on 10 layer PCB with 2 ohms thick nut copper. On this rises two fundamental elements to maintain the mobile perfectly cool. The first is the massive, fully covered MOSFET heatsink with thermal pad on the side of a CPU socket that cover also the IO back panel. The second, cold M2 shield frost, and as the name says, is focused to the cooling the M2 slots. This has an amazing feature, but is the small fan incorporating on it. Aesthetically, both its sinks have a silver finish enriched by a white pattern with some orange accent, where, moreover, take place the MSI Dragoon logo and the word MSI and Edge printing on it. Regarding the power design, the VRM layout is composed by 8 plus 2 plus 1 power faces. These allow to guarantee the maximum power and efficiency. As all new B650 board, also this feature the new AM5 socket and support whatever AMD Ryzen 7000 series desktop CPU. At the moment, the new AMD Raphael series includes 4 SKUs, the Ryzen 9 7 950X, the Ryzen 9 7 900X, Ryzen 7 7 700X and the Ryzen 5 7 600X. Specifically, the flagship Ryzen 9 7 950X features 60 core and 32 thread, 5.7 GHz of boost clock, a base clock of 4.5 GHz, 64 MB of cache, and 170 watts of TDP. The Ryzen 9 7 900X has a 12 core and 24 thread, 5.6 GHz of boost clock, 4.7 GHz of base clock. 64 MB of cache and 170 watts of TDP. Follow the Ryzen 7 7 700X with 8 core and 16 thread, 5.4 GHz of boost clock, 4.5 GHz of base clock, 32 MB of cache and 105 watts of TDP. And in the hand, the Ryzen 5 7 600X has a 6 core and 12 thread, 5.3 GHz of boost clock. 4.7 GHz of base clock, 42 MB of cache, all with a TDP of 105 watts. The motherboard is equipped with two new DDR5 DIMM dual channel memory architecture sockets. Here we can install in a minimum of 32 GB for single DIMM memory module up to a maximum capacity of 64 GB for all DIMM. Plus, it supports memories with an operating base frequency of 4800 MHz up to over 6600 MHz in overclocking. Continuing to the motherboard layout internal connection, starting from the left on top, we have got a 8 pin ATX 12 volt power connectors for our CPU EZ debug LED and nothing else. 
after going down on the right there are a CPU fan header, a chassis or water pump fan connector, a 24 pin ATX main power socket connector, 4 SATA free 6 GB to second parts, and a USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 GB per second front panel type C header, and a USB 3.2 Gen 1 header. In the bottom, the mobile has an E Rainbow V2 LED connector, a system fan header, a USB 2.0 connector, the front panel JFP1, including power LED, HDD LED power and reset switches, the front panel JFP2 connector, composed by speaker and buzzer, the safe boot jumper, a chassis intrusion connector, and the front audio connector. The storage option of a new B650 motherboard are composed by four SATA free 6GB to second connector and the two M2 slots that support storage devices type 2000 to 160 or 2000 to 180 PCI Express Gen 4 operating at a 44 mode varies to say 64GB to second. As expansion slot, the MSI board features just one PCI Express 4.0 for 16 slot boosted by steel armor technology and support for 16 mode that is 64 GB to second. The audio compartment mount the Audio Boost 5 system. It contains the Realtek ELC 4080 codec, feature 71 surrounding sound high performance audio, and support up to 32 bit at 384 kHz playback on front panel. In addition, it presents high quality audio capacitor, as well as the high quality audio jacks, isolated audio signal, and the D-pop protection. On back, the IO panel feature firstly clear CMOS button, flash bias button, a HDMI port, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, feature flash bias support, a 2.5 gigabit per second LAN jack, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 for two Type C port. Wi-Fi antenna connectors, and finally the audio jacks including line-in input, line-out jack, and microphone port. But now it is the time to talk about the price. The motherboard is available on retailers at a price of about of 240 US dollar or 230 euros at the time of making this video. As always, I leave you the link to buy it in the description below. And with this, that's all for today. I hope you are enjoying and helpful today's videos. As always, let me know what do you think in the comments below. Well, leave a like, share it with all your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Huge thanks for watching. See you again next time.